Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah, welcome to Drinking Bros. These Sunday night shows are fun because they're Friday afternoon and all we do is booze all day. And then somebody else drives us home. Wink. It's Texas. They don't give a shit. Welcome to the show. Who walked in? Who is this stray that walked in Wait, here today? Just so uh, before we get into that, yeah. George W. Bush got a, a DUI in Texas in, the, in think, 1974. Uh, yeah, and, and Beto got one too. Yeah. Really? Like yeah. you've got you know a, how fucked up you have to be in Texas to get a DUI in 1970? <laughs> it's crazy. Like you basically have to drive through the front of someone's house, which I believe he did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He did. You're right. Yeah. Just like that fucking hotel room. Somebody drove through my hotel room last week. Not room. They drove through the lobby. Uh, the lobby. Of the hotel. They that, drove through the lobby. That don't act like that's not a big difference. Uh, it is. You're right. You're right. If it was my room, that would be a different story. But the, the whole Christ. fucking lobby. Where was the hotel? Uh, Washington D.C. Okay. Anyways, yeah. this is Natalie Cuomo. She's a comedian. Any relation? Hi. No relation. No. How many times do you hear that now? Um, many times, many times, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. It is the easiest uh, applause I get on stage when I say I'm not related, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite nice. People hate that fucking family. They do. Um, I'm they not related though. once again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, no, Natalie, now you're in. Now you're a Cuomo for life. No, they used to love him. Now they hate him. Yeah, no. August of 2020, they were talking about replacing Biden with him on the Democratic ticket, and his brother was the most popular dude in news, and oh, yeah. now his brother doesn't have a job, and he also doesn't have a job. And I think he had to give back that $5.3 million advance for the eh. book, I think. Um, That's fine. He's a politician. He'll make more money. I think you should change your name. No. Yeah, dude. It's, it's too tainted now. It's Cuomo. What about Cuervo? What about Hitler? Um, <laughs> Dave Hitler. You don't run into a lot of Hitlers anymore. I am Jewish, so it would be ironic. Yeah. Are you really? I'm half Jewish, but it's on my mom's side, so... Okay. Do you yeah. celebrate? I celebrate nothing. Okay, good. Because we have a CFO that, that takes off every goddamn Jewish holiday there yeah. is. And when I broke it down, the number was over 100. Um, okay. And here's why. The first 52... That's the Sabbath on Friday that goes into Saturday. So you're nuked out for those 52 days in general, right? Right. Then the rest of it, there's always something in the middle of the week. And then towards the end of the year, I feel like there's like 20 that are just back to back. So the high holy holidays. Yeah, a lot of relaxation. But that also, I think, adds to the stress. So being Jewish, here's what I told him. Mm -hmm. I said, look, the reason why you're so fucking stressed out all the time is because you can only work two thirds of the year. So the other third, you've got to play catch up. Yeah, it's like, uh, I need a vacation from this vacation. Yeah, yeah. But the vacation is Judaism. <laughs> it is. Did you read the Torah and all that shit? Absolutely not, no. Okay, good. It's just more of a blood thing. Oh, it is? All right. Like, my, mo- my, like, by, my mother is Jewish, so Ooh. I am Jewish. Okay. Yeah. And, and you've got a Jewish mother. Is she proud of you? She's very proud of me, yeah. I, I was in a speaking engagement, and they said, you've got to, everybody's going to stand up, and you have to describe yourself like a Jewish mother. Oh, and I okay. said, oh, all right, great. So uh, she must be really proud. Yeah, she's proud. She's like, she's like nervous. She's overprotective, anxious, and proud. Okay, where are you from originally? I'm from Queens. Oh, Queens, okay. Yeah. All right. LL Cool J fan, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you know anything about LL Cool J. I'm just going to sip this alcohol. That's fine. Sip it and drink it. Do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. We're going to relax today, God damn it. 500 kilos of cocaine found in coffee bags. Uh, at an espresso plant in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Sounds like my kind of coffee. Let's get that fucking ordered is, up and get it in here and get it in I don't office. see why nothing good ever happens to me. I don't either. I don't either. I thought, of, I thought about that today. Like, not once in my life have I opened a bag of coffee and it's just a brick, a kilo of cocaine. Not one time, right? Would that be good for you? Yes. What are you, for a fucking a, cop or something? Are you something? a narc? Get out of here. Are you a narc? I just, the bigger news is that George Clooney's trafficking cocaine. <laughs> yeah. That's his company. Because everybody asks, like, why is George Clooney doing coffee commercials? Because he owns, like, 33% of the company. Mm. So as if that guy couldn't be any richer after the $3 billion sale of his tequila. I do like the tequila, though. I hate to admit it. Because when you, whenever you see $3 billion behind a, a, a liquor company that's been around for a year, you're like, dude, fuck you, man. Uh, and then I had it, and I was like, all right, it's probably the best I've had. And it was. Yeah. Have you had it? I can't taste the difference between, like, fancy tequilas at all. I can. There's a, there's a real st- – are you from Texas at all? Have you she been in Texas? She literally just said she's from Queens. No, no, no. Bro. But, I mean, are, are you – did you, lo- do are you, you live listening? here now? Do you live here now? 
No. Oh, you don't? So you're just visiting all together? Yes. Fuck off then. All right, never mind. I drove to Austin. I just got to Austin a few minutes ago. From Queens? <laughs> no. She took that Elon Musk train. Yeah, where were you then? I, I, I was in San Antonio this morning. I just drove here. Okay, so yeah. you're just doing gigs on the road? I'm and just that's... on the road. Oh, from Texas. shit. All right. But I do love Texas. This is actually my ninth time here. Because every comedian wait, 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 now wait, wait, is moving wait. here. Does anybody keep track of how many times they've been to a state Me. like that? Yeah. Well, when I'm back, I'm like, holy shit, this is, I've been here a lot. And then I counted all the trips. And I was like, this is my ninth trip to Texas. So here's my confusion. Because every comedian and their mother is now moving here to Austin, Texas. I will Texas. never be doing that. Okay. That's, that's, that's yeah. what I was asking. Yeah. Um, why not? Um, I just, uh, I think New York has the best comedy scene in the world. So I'm not going to leave that for Austin. I can't argue that. Um, there was a post that Joe Rogan made the other day uh, mm -hmm. about how much comedy is here. Yeah. And he posted everybody. I think Roseanne Barr actually came down and opened up for him. That's cool. Yeah. Um, he's able to get everybody to come down here, obviously. So uh, I didn't know if you were moving here or planning on it because there's so many clubs that are opening and reopening um, that it's a lot at this point. It is. I mean, listen, if good old Joe texted me and said, hey, I've got a room for you. Why don't you move down here? I can't say that I wouldn't. Right. But um, I think that uh, it, is a, it is a great scene and it's worth visiting a lot. But New York is just, it's just there's something about it that you can't compare anything else to. Uh, there is that in LA. Um, the only thing is politics getting in the, in the way with comedians. Because every comedian that comes on this show is like, dude, we love to play Texas because it's pretty fucking wide open. And yeah. Most all jokes land, whereas New York and LA, everybody's kind of set in their ways and, and some of the jokes are harder than others. But that's cool because it's, it's so much harder to make a... It's such a tougher crowd, so much harder to make them laugh that like, that's why when you leave, you're like, holy <laughs> shit, like now I can say whatever I want. Now I can, I'm like with people that are excited to hear what I have to say. And it's almost like you're practicing in a really hard area so that the rest of the world um, is like freedom versus the other way around. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the toughest city you've been in? New York. No, uh, for a comedy? Like, I feel like New York is the toughest city, and so then you get good in the toughest city, and then you can go everywhere else. So by far, like, like somebody like you who looks like this, like Kansas City wouldn't be hard or something like that? I can wear a sweatshirt. Okay. And do you do that? Yes. I, Kansas there, there are City. Certain things I would, there are certain gigs where I'm like, all right, I'm going to wear a sweatshirt. Okay. All yeah. Right. I don't think anybody cares about, like, tattoos and shit anymore, do they? Yeah, it's, it's strange. Well, Especially it's like as a you're comedian. going to a comedy club, you're not going to a fucking Baptist church. I agree. Look, I, I fucking agree. But it's changed so much now that it's like when you go into these different cities, people expect different things. And they're like, all right, great. Who's this Antifa member who's going to come up here and tell jokes tonight? Yeah, people also don't really want comedians to be like attractive mm. or just, yeah, they're just kind of like... They kind of want you to be as like nondescript as possible a lot of the time. Strange, like, right? Yeah, like I would never, I don't wear like a dress on stage. Like I like to wear like schlumpy clothes. Oh, like Billie Eilish. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's like high class schlumpy. Like she's like, her clothes are like, damn, that is an expensive oversized sweatshirt. Yeah, it's like Supreme. Yeah. Where you're just looking at it and you're like, all right, great. How much was that a grand? Right. Mine is like, wow, that was two cents at Goodwill. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, that's. How you have to shop for clothing when you live in New York. Yeah. Right? Pretty much. Because every, everything there eight, is... $8,000 for oh, rent. Yeah. 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 It's Fuck expensive that. as shit. Do you live in the city then? I live in my mother's basement. Oh, you do? Yeah. How is that going? It's lovely. Is that so your boyfriend? You, yeah. Uh, okay. What, so was you, the, what was the pause So for? you are Jewish is what I was going to say about living in your mom's basement. <laughs> um, what? Yeah, yeah. You, you are Jewish yeah. living in your mom's basement. Yeah. Yeah. You got super red when I asked if that was your boyfriend. No, I don't want to talk about it. Why not? <laughs> this just got it's a really it's good. It's a podcast, yeah. The show Maybe just got we like, should add a microphone and bring him up here. The show just got so much better. Yeah. Right there. I How think long have you guys been dating? I might pop this. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. What's it? What's your name? Stop it. <laughs> He'll talk about it. No, he, he seems doesn't like a friendly want to talk guy. About it. He's, he's he super friendly. Want to chat. He's I think he wants to chat. to chat. <laughs> I think he wants to chat. We can, we can get him a mic. <laughs> no, he really is not in the mood to chat. He's, it looks he's like not, he's in the mood, he's to, not chat. In the mood to chat. <laughs> it looks like he is. He's a nice, no, friendly guy. He's friendly, but he's not in the mood to chat. Do you want to pop back with Giorgio? We can get into this. How long have you guys been together? No, he really doesn't feel like chatting. If it's a new relationship, new. we don't have to chat about it. Okay. This is a smoke grenade, by the way. What's if you need a to, smoke grenade? If you, need well, to you pull the pin and then it, a lot of smoke yes. comes out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So look, Giorgio, because like, we we talk we talk about everything like all of our sexual experiences here and everything else. It's an open space. Giorgio had a horrific one uh, last night, and we worked Please, through that on air. Giorgio, let's talk. Yeah. What happened? Wait, what? what happened last night, Giorgio? What happened with that lady? How old was she? Can we get an age on her? I, I don't ask these things. I don't check ID when they're over 50. Uh, <laughs> over 50? Okay, good. Uh, That's what it says on the cigarette sign, too. It does. Anybody that looks under 40 gets carded. Otherwise, you're all good. <laughs> so, yeah, we can work through it. If it's a new relationship, yeah, it's Yeah, new, yeah, yeah. You know? We can work through literally anything else right now. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, there sure. was, uh, so this he is. He seems like a nice young man. And he that's, is a that's nice young I, man. He's lovely. That's all, I, well, that's all we mo- wish for you The here. most important thing is that he's not a comedian, and that's all that matters. Two mm. comedians dating each other is a terrible it's idea. It's disgusting. It and is. it should literally never happen. Ever, but it does, because that's all you hang out with usually, right? Yes, yeah. Um, Nikki Glaser just went back to uh, uh, St. Louis, by the way. Bob, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, she's got her own reality show. I came home, my wife was watching that the other day. I saw that she has her own reality show. I like that. Yeah. Um, but apparently she moved back because she's in love with this guy from yeah. high school still yeah, or something yeah. like that. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Did, you wa- did you watch the show at all? <laughs> Uh, no, but I've seen the like trailers and such. So the Bob, they, they went back to St. Louis and I'm going to be honest, there's not a lot going on there. They, they tried to sex it up, but yeah, there's not, I'm from St. Louis. If you yeah, get it. But our, one of our producers, Bob is from St. Louis. What? Of course there's not. And she's from Kirkwood, which is like the most boring ass fucking suburb. That's not even St. Louis. How, how close is that to the dude and his wife that were pointing guns at everybody last year? Kirkwood? Or whenever that was. T- 10 minute drive. Oh, shit. So, oh, all right. Yeah. There you go. Hey, that's fucking Kirkwood for Don't you. Don't kick the gate down because some dude in a fucking polo is going to come uh, out with an yeah, AR. Yeah, the, right. well, the scarier thing is the, the woman holding the gun on her breast, just like, you know, Look, this you, pew pew. Uh, uh, Ninja uses the environment to their advantage. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Homegirls, she looked like she was fine, you know? A couple mimosas in that day. I don't know if she just didn't know how to hold a weapon properly or if she was just fucking wasted. I mean, maybe it was like a Craig Council batting stance situation. Uh, you know, everybody's got their own swing. Like when she's ready to shoot, she gets back into a better position? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's a deep cut. That's a real deep cut. Craig Council. Man, that's specific. If you get that reference, you're a fucking homie. Like, like an absolute homie. Uh, are you going to shoot guns tomorrow? You were talking about I it before we went on. I am absolutely going to shoot guns tomorrow. Nice. Because it's Texas and you're like, yeehaw, fucking. <sighs> yes. Absolutely. Right on. Absolutely. What are you hoping to shoot? Um, anything uh, without a heart or a brain. Oh, boy. You just eliminated half the Wizard of Oz cast. Um, <laughs> so, what you just want to shoot, like, random shit? I just want to shoot. I just want to shoot things. Okay. Yeah. Are you against killing animals? Um, I am not emotionally prepared to kill an animal, but I am emotionally prepared to eat an animal. Okay. Yeah. So like Burger King, you can get down on it, you just don't want to kill it and chop it up. Yeah, 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 exactly. I eat animals, I just, I'm not ready to um, end their life by myself. Okay, gotcha. I think it's a good experience for somebody to, like, get rid of the gun and bow and and arrow and all that bullshit and, like, literally use piano wire. (laughs) Have you done that? Oh, boy. Sneak up on a cow and just loop it around, turn over like this and pull it down over your shoulder, and that cow will die in, like, 17 to 18 seconds. Dan's then, killed hundreds of people. Then so you like, can just start sawing off parts. Yeah. So yeah. like when you've killed hundreds of people, animals don't really matter at that point. Actually, I, like, I, cool. I had a, I've had a harder time killing animals than people. Yeah. People, I would imagine. I figured that. Animals are better. Yeah. Than people are garbage in general. Sure. Well, you don't have any kids, right? I don't. None that she's responsible for. Sure. Is I think you, it's. I think it's funny when women use that joke. When you're like, hey, do you have any kids? Like, none, none, none that I'm that aware I'm of. None that I'm responsible for, yeah. None that I'm aware of would make more sense, I guess. But I think with female empowerment these days, you should say, no, my husband's going to get pregnant. Oh. Yeah. Like, let him do yeah. it. We just have, a, we have the emoji. So clearly it's, a, it's an everyday thing that everybody's the, going the, through. What do you think the male pregnant emoji? It's I mean, the dumbest it's, shit of all time. Oh, but it's also hilarious. Well, it's hilarious for, for the, when the abortion thing popped up the other mm-hmm. day. Um, it was funny that everybody was like, mm, ladies are the only ones that can have babies magically. And it was like... Man, you just said forever that men could get pregnant. We're going to stand behind that. And then that wasn't true. And the, the emoji had already come out. So what do, which way do we want it? So um, the emoji is really fucking with the whole Roe versus Wade thing. I, that's what I think. <laughs> do you, I, I find it odd that the emoji comes out and then all of a sudden Roe v. Wade, 
you know, goes away or it potentially might. Right. And then we're stuck with this pregnant man emoji because if there is abortion uh, rallies, if, there, if there, people are going to go to the Capitol building, I think it should be men now. Hey, wait, what, uh, you guys figure this out back there. Usually there's um, like an, not, a, not an ASCII code, but it's like a code that you could type in to make that emoji appear, right? It oh, used to yeah, be, it yeah, used yeah, to be yeah. colon and then a series of words and another colon, but now I think you can just type it. What do you type to get that emoji? Is it, exactly. Is it pregnant man? G- Giorgio, what do you type for that emoji, for the pregnant man emoji? Food baby. Is it? <laughs> is it food baby? No, no. Can I tell you guys, there's this the emoji that it's like, it's crying. It's like the little face that's like, mm, and it's the crying face. Do you yeah. guys know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we clearly know what you're talking about. Can you explain it again? No. Yeah, it's the... So cr- if the- you write, if you, if I write, uh-huh. please, sir, that comes up. And I told someone that, and they're like, okay, and when they write, please, sir, that doesn't come up. So it's very weird. So I typed in pregnant, and I got all three. Really? I got the lady, I got the gentleman, and the androgynous baby carrier. No fucking way, dude. When I typed in please, it gave me the eye roll emoji. What about the please, sir? Type in please, sir. Find that out. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing huh? That sounds when like When I it, type in please, sir, it comes up. I that the, seems like it might be Asian. I got the eggplant for When that. you cry when you're asking for things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're, <laughs> they're, they're really you're into Asian. prostrating themselves. What? Your phone thinks you're Asian. Why is it an Asian thing? Dan was just explaining it. Like, uh, uh, Women in Asian culture are very subservient. Like you prostrate yourself to, add, and even even uh, man to man, sometimes you prostrate yourself. I, like I promise, thing. you definitely do not need to be Asian to be subservient. What 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 race do you need to be? Um, anything. If you can you can like doing that. And- is Asian a race? I don't know what r- race means. Is that like a, <laughs> is is Asian? And then there's Maybe like ethnicity? Chinese. Is, well, I guess that would be ethnicity, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I have no idea. About I mean, any technically, of this shit. Russians are Asians. Yeah, but they're, that's Russians true, yeah. aren't subservient though. No, they they fucking fight. Grizzly they're doms. Shit. Yeah. yeah, they're doms, dude. Yeah. Subs are yeah. yeah. Like and they don't switch. Do you think no. that doms and subs in civilization are similar to uh, matter and antimatter, where there's the same amount of each? That is such a great question. Boy, that's tough. To, that, I'm all about balance. Problem. You know what I mean? Like Thanos. Yeah. I, I, if you would have asked me this question 20 years ago, well, let's just say for America's sake, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I would have said more doms. Now I would, I would definitely lean more subs. And you can pretty much rope off certain sections of the country where it's subs. And I would say the entire West Coast. If you go from yeah, Washington, true, yeah. Oregon, California down. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I think those are subs now. Yeah. What makes you think they're subs? Uh, because it, it's, it, every, it's just soft and weak and everything. It, like nobody wants to say anything. Nobody really wants to do anything. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to just kind of just dance around it. Like if there's homeless people in LA, right? They'll just right. walk over them on the way to work. Like, oh, let's not wake them. Mm-hmm. Let's not say anything. Let's not wake these homeless people. Right. And then just we'll quietly slip in. Where I feel like Oregon is kind of the same way and probably, like, you, you'd have to well, go to the Well, they're mostly setting buildings on fire in Oregon, I believe. Yeah. But, but that's, I, that's, like, uh, that's, that's certainly not dominance. It's, uh, it's weakness and insecurity manifesting itself that way. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's yeah. kind of how that works. No, I think it's, I think it's power bottoming. Uh, it could be power bottoming. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's they, they are so strong that they just, like, need, they can't inflict. They need to take. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they need to just get it. Yeah, they do. Wesley, is that you, buddy? Yeah. So we're almost done with uh, building the new studio. Giorgio, uh, if you'll hang with Wesley here and just chat with him about what we need and everything, we're this close. We're like, what, two months away now from moving uh, all of this? We're one conversation away. I know. He's right here. The man himself is here. have it. Yeah. He looks super happy, too. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, Wesley, pop on in. We're live on air right now. You built these sets. This was fucking awesome, dude. Um... For real, I, just come on. Do you want to wave to everybody? Or you're like, dude, this show's too fucking political. I'm out of here. I am out of here. Um, we did get super out. political talking about the West Coast being pussies. Uh, shout out Lucky Draft. Hi. There he is. Thanks, buddy. Um, I can't even fit in your frame. Yeah, you can't even fit in the camera frame. You're the, this is the guy who built the Drinking Bros set. We just signed a deal with Spotify, by the way. So all the videos on Spotify as well. It's us and Rogan and... Uh, Maybe one or two others, but that's it, dude. And it's because of this. So thanks, Wesley. Um, Giorgio's going to help you out with the sets and all that shit. And uh, looking forward to having you at the new property, dude. Uh, It's going to be a blast. Uh, We just bought like three acres. That's awesome. uh, Off of 290. And we've got a a church 
that we completely demoed. It was a Pentecostal, and there was like snakes and shit in it. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gutted that. Uh, we got AstroTurf down there. Nick is working on getting the lines painted on the field uh, as we speak. And then the other building was a CrossFit gym. Okay. Um, so that's emptied out. We're, we're hoping to build a bar there. But first things first, we got to get the studio on the other one, and then, uh, and then the bar second. Otherwise, it would just be the bar, and then nothing the else, and then we would be fucked up all day. Damn. Yeah. Can I ask you? God, fire So away. you guys are drinking bros. Yeah, yeah. I have a problem. Like, when I drink, I can't get past the point of, like, throwing up. Like, I, I drink, I throw up, and then everyone's like, oh, when you throw up, you just have to keep drinking afterwards. But I can't do that. If I throw up, that's it for the night. Like, no. what do you guys do? I, I can personally tell you this. On Dan's birthday, we went out. Uh, we got fucking hammered. Dan violently threw up everywhere in one motion. It was oh, this one is, motion. Uh, 2018, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one motion, and then his immediate response. I mean, dead serious. After the last drop of puke came out of his mouth, he picked up a fucking full double vodka and Red Bull, really? and just chugged the entire thing. And then he went on with the rest of his night like nothing happened. Vomit really? is weakness leaving the body. <laughs> oh. Vomit is weakness like, leaving the body. That bitch ass liquid couldn't stand being inside this. <laughs> it had to go. It got evicted. I don't feel like it, you know, walked out on me. That's the God's honest truth. That, I've never seen it like it. We were in a full bar and he just kept going like nothing had ever happened. And no, not another word was spoken about it. Has, has it ever been, has the weakness ever overpowered you? Has it ever gotten you so bad that the vomit was, was so intense that you had to leave? You had to say, that's it for me for the night. Or could you always keep going? Well, I don't really vomit in public very frequently. That's the one tip I learned. It's is the only you, time I've seen you, you throw up You must vomit ever. in private. You must. It's mm. humiliating. Yeah, you have to. You, you can't just you do must. that in public. Or w what he did was such a power move. Because we were sitting on like a, yeah. outside of, next to like a cornhole station, right? Mm. And he just vomited right straight ahead and then just kept going. And, and nothing changed. Wow. Not the look in his eyes. Nothing, and he just powered through it. And everybody else, like, it's, it's dominant to that point of, like, hey, dude, I just threw up, like, five feet from you. Fuck off. And I just, I just pounded a double vodka and Red Bull. Right. So uh, that was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in real life to this day. I swear to God. Usually everybody gives up after that. Yeah. They puke, and then it's just, it's like a fucking Eddie Vedder concert where it's just a lot of swaying and, you know, just nonsense words coming out of your mouth and all that shit. Yeah. What makes you puke so much? What makes me puke so much? I don't know. Like my, I'll drink and my body's like, whoa, we're very nauseous and we're not going to stop being nauseous and we're just going to be puking and it's just going to be bile for the next few hours. You got to eat more protein. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to really get some in you. Because right now you've got like an Amy Winehouse body. We got to get some protein in you. What is so an you Amy can... Winehouse body? It's, it's thin. It's dainty. Mm -hmm. um, looks great in clothes. Looks no, really good on camera. This is, you're going to turn, we don't need another fucking CrossFit girl, right? It's not that. That's, not that. That's we looks good in clothes? A little more protein, yeah. So Giorgio, is he back there? Did he, oh, he's talking He's dead. Um, Giorgio's got a dainty male body like Prince. Yeah. Where it's just like every pair of clothes looks great on him. Uh -huh. Adam Levine's another one. Uh -huh. uh, one of my best friends, Clayne, is like that, too, mm -hmm. where it's like he can throw on his wife's sweater and make it look cool where you're just like, right. fuck, dude, you just look great in clothes. Like, all the clothes fit. Because okay. let's face it, when you go into a store, you see, like, a whole rack full of mediums. Yeah. Nobody's really wearing the mediums. You guys are. He's wearing it, men. You're probably wearing extra small, I would imagine. It's just okay. like, all right, great. And that's who they build the models for. Mm -hmm. Like, when, when you're making a, you know, uh, a shoe or what, what do you call them? A seamstress? If you're a seamstress in this world. A cobbler is a shoemaker. Yeah, shoemaker. So like well, a cobbler doesn't want to build a size 16 for somebody because okay. it's going to look like shit when they present it. I they feel like. build it for a frame like yours we, if you're a seamstress. And we need, is, I think we need funny mannequins instead of ones that represent anybody, like a mannequin with a club foot. I'm glad you brought that up. I saw that crying Japanese mannequin. Oh, that's. It's, it's from I haven't that, seen that. That's from the... Hey, Bob, can you yeah. pull up that meme? I haven't seen that. You know what I'm talking that about. That sounds fucking horrifying. Oh, it is. It's the greatest thing ever. Well, who is that for, exactly? That's what I've been trying to figure out all... Probably for the last two years. Almost every day of my life for the last two is it years. Like a, is it like commentary on uh, Western consumerism or some shit? And it, I think, Bob, if memory serves me correct, it looked like somebody's about to strike it. So it looks like a domestic abuse uh, mannequin... That's in a store. That it's sounds crying? more like Alabama than... Yeah, Japan. you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, oh, oh that's wow. That's not it. That's that, not it? Pop, okay. pop that up on screen that's honestly, for the people. That's nightmare I feel fuel. like I've seen that nightmare at Macy's. Fuel. Ooh. 
Man, that is rough. That's not it. Um, it appears to be of Asian descent. It is bald. Um, I wonder what the keywords for that are. Let's go bald. You put crying Asian, mannequin in or what? Crying what mannequin. Yeah. Is this about the facial expression or the body position? Both. So the body is, is kind it? of, that's oh, it. There you go. God. Right there. Boom. What the fuck? Oh. Pop that up full screen. Uh, spread that out, Bob. This I'm, is not good. Stretch it. No, I'm trying to okay. give, give them the benefit of the doubt, but what the fuck did this person possibly be doing? Here? Well, what about the other <laughs> mannequin next to it? I don't like that at all. To be fair, you don't only wear clothes when your husband's not hitting you. That's true. Right. That's Are you true. saying that clothed people get hit? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. was a weird way to say it. I've sorry. only gotten no, hit I got when you, Bob. I'm not wearing clothes. Yo, you, you only, that's the only time you've been beaten? Is when well, you're that's not the only time you ask for it, typically. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But pop this up, Bob, because what if you don't have the lady with the finger gun behind you? That's what I try to think. She looks like, like somebody bracing for the fucking bomb at Hiroshima. Correct. Correct. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize. I was just making a bomb joke. I didn't realize it was also a we nuked Japan twice joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it also looks like she's shaming her with the finger point. And you're like, hey, dude, why? Like, who's this cunt? Yeah. Nice hair, bitch. And, so that, that's Jada Pinkett getting made fun of as a child. That's why she may well slap Chris Rock. It might be. It might be. I um, smoked a lot of weed today. As a comedian, that's fine. We're getting fucking rocked today. Who gives a shit? As a comedian, what did you think of Chappelle getting t attacked the other night? I was fucked up. Uh, what did you think about the no assault charges? Fucked up as well. Well, it's they, he got a misdemeanor assault charge, but that's which like is bullshit. Nothing. Like it's, it's, a, nothing. it's a fine. I think it's like a hundred and seventy dollar fine or something like that. Yeah, it's absolutely like insane. Um, it's absolutely insane. And, and again, that's a sub. It's a subculture, right? Boom, nailed it. Because it's out of L.A. Uh, and even Chappelle was like, "Dude, this is fucked up and this is broken." Uh, did you hear yeah. the the interview he did today? No, I did not. So he said he he actually talked to his attacker. Before they went to the hospital, I guess really? he had asked police to talk to the guy, and wow. he asked him why he did it. Um, Bob, if you can pull that up, I think it might have been on TMZ, uh, but the conversation was strange. Hmm. Um, I mean, the guy wound up getting pretty fucked up. Oh, he, he deserved every... As he should have. I mean, he should have gotten even more fucked up. Single last punch and kick for that. Damn. Um, for sure. But it's uh, actually really sad. Like I, I love Chappelle so much. It makes me very sad that anyone would attempt to do anything like that. Uh, so, oh, and shit. Breaking news. The guy just pleaded not guilty. He didn't do anything. Bail is set at $30,000. Right? I, I don't, yeah. I guess he tackled a dude and tried to stab him, but whatever. Oh, they got a Are picture of this sarcastic? fucking guy. Yes. In, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> don't ever take anything I've yeah, so, hey, Bob, go to TMZ. <laughs> yeah, hold on. We're doing something with the audio, with the roadcaster. Okay. Um, because the, the, this guy is in court, and he does have a broken arm. So he just went into court right now, um, and he does have a broken arm. It's in a sling. And, uh, yeah, this guy got fucking rocked. Um, yeah, what uh, else did he say So he this? said that uh, the attack was meant to draw attention to gentrification after his grandmother was recently ousted from her Brooklyn neighborhood. Now, we know that if oh, any... Oh, for gentrification. Yeah. yeah. Dave Chappelle, huge fan of gentrification. <laughs> what that, the fuck? That how, we what, know about him. How did, <laughs> how did they make that fucking parallel? Although I, he actually is kind of a huge fan of gentrification because he bought a big fucking area of a small town and started to revitalize it. And yeah, but never is attacking a comedian on stage. Like, that is... That's never like no, speaking out against gentrification no, in any capacity. It, well, there's no like practical effect for that. No, it's yeah. it's some it's a crazy person who got into the Hollywood Bowl. The only thing that I can't figure out is looking at this guy. Um, do you know how much money those tickets cost for front row to Dave Chappelle show at Hollywood Bowl? Yeah. Everybody and their mother was out to see them. All of them. Chris Rock, those all those are probably six hundred bucks. There's usually is incredible <laughs> security there as well. Not at the Hollywood Bowl, ironically. Oh, really? It's pretty easy, yeah. Um, I've been front row there, and there's a bunch of times where I was like, man, I could just go up and stab that person if I wanted to. I mean, I went to see The Strokes recently at, um, it was in New York, mm -hmm. but at Barclays, and the security was so insane. I had to walk through three times just to get my vape, pe vape pen in. I wound up having to put my vape pen in my butt. There you go. How far up did it go? <laughs> Not that far. Uh, 
It wasn't like Lemmy Winks from South Park. It hadn't been Remember scratched that? in a while, so really no. But um, was it? Uh, how deep did the vape pen? No, go? it was just between the cheeks. It wasn't oh, okay. in my butt. All right, all right. Yeah. He uh, snuck into a college football game with a mason jar full of moonshine. It in did. His ass before. That's true. So yeah, it's like this person. I don't know how bad the security was at this place. Got it. Got it. Got it. So I, I'll judge. I'll judge security before going in. Weather also helps. So that, the, the event he was talking about with the mason jar, it was, fr- it was freezing. Yeah, it was like 12 degrees. Yeah, so I had to wear a couple layers of North Face to get into this bitch. And I was that was like, actually right, in cool. Philly. That, yeah. was at, that was at the link. We yep. were at, at the Army and Navy. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. So when you're in that situation, you're too big to pat down. Because even if they pat you, it's, oh. it's padded because you're wearing too many clothes. Okay. You can get anything in there. But can't you, don't you have to take your jacket off and shit? No. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> they don't do it there. I just uh, smuggle everything. I made a dick-shaped tube. And anything that'll fit in there, I can get in anywhere. Because nobody's going to ask you to take your dick out. No, they won't. And they're, they used to make something called a cock sock. Um, and so the cock sock was for drugs. And then you could put the, the drugs in the dick, and it kind of strapped around you like a G-string. And that's how it fit on. Wow. It was, yeah, a roommate of mine in college was, was trying to sneak a, a bunch of drugs down to uh, Mexico. And so he cock socked it up. I'm sorry, he was trying to sneak in drugs into Mexico. Correct. That's bizarre. Oh wait, but, was it was it fucking opposite day? <laughs> Here, here's here's why. So he found an old uh, pill bottle from the 80s. Uh, that oh, is, he found some lewds. Yeah, he found some yeah. lewds. Um, so they were lemons, right? You remember uh, Wolf of Wall Street? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he found some lemons, and it was you know the it was all faded on the outside of the the, the prescription bottle and everything else, and we were like, oh shit. Are those real? Huh. And, and he was like, oh, yeah, they're, they're real, man. I'm fucking going for it. I deserved it. Because you have finals right before spring break. And he was like, man, I really want to fucking party. And I was like, all right, cool, man. I heard they're super strong. You might want to only go like a quarter or a half. And he was like, no, man, fuck that. Look, I'm taking a whole one. Boom. Gone. Homeboy was gone. Uh, woke up in the morning, and the entire sliding glass door was shattered everywhere and he was out on the porch sleeping on the glass that's how fucked up he was he he thought it was you know it looked clear i guess to him and he just walked right through the fucking thing um and he was a huge person so it was just like yeah and then he must have blacked out on top of it but no, like, no no you it's best to go asleep go to sleep in that situation because it's either a dream or you're gonna have to deal with that shit right you may as well <laughs> get some shut eye so here's what happened we went to the beach Left him as he was, because it was like that. We didn't want to scare him. Right. So we, we were just like, all right, well, what do we do? Uh, let's just go to the beach and then figure it out. So we came back right around 2, 3 o'clock, and then he got up around 3.30. In the afternoon, finally, it was just like, yo, what the fuck happened? I was like, well, you're obviously going to have to pay for this. Um, and then maybe cut that back to a quarter lewd at a time. Um, I didn't get to take any, um, so I don't know what the lewds were like, but just watching that, I was like, oh, my God, you were you lose your fucking mind on those goddamn things. Would you have wanted to? Yes. Looking back at it now, absolutely. Okay. But having watched somebody walk through uh, a, a glass sliding door. Did he get stitches? It I mean, too was, much. He, was he very. He was fine. Like, it was a lot of, like, uh, his face was kind of scratched up. Mm. So were his shoulders mm. uh, and his chest. But, uh, and then the, his back from sleeping on it. But nothing crazy. Like when a, when a sliding glass door breaks, it goes into very small chunks like that, mm. like the, your front windshield. Safety Like glass. a car accident, yeah. There um, was a boy in my first cl- grade class named Nicholas. He had his eyes closed and he was walking like this and he put his hands through a glass door and he had stitches all across his arms like this. Like, like a ba- oh, yeah. Remember, his arms looked like baseball. What the fuck was the glass made of that a, I don't know. a six-year-old was able his to... His arms, like, terrified me. Like, I still remember him. Like, well, those old school of ones, arms. those old school ones, it was just glass, and there was, like, another pane behind it. Yeah, like, his whole, both of his arms. Like, I think they had to I change them after them. that. Yeah. I still, I still remember everything about his family because his arms were so fucked. What's he doing in real life these days? I don't know, but his sister was very pretty. Really? Yeah. What's her, what's her last name? We'll bring her up. We'll pop a picture of her up on camera. No. No, we'll let the audience judge. What? Well, she yeah, said was. See if she's pretty. I don't. I don't. She might be all fucked up. Is she now. not pretty anymore. No, but I don't think they would come up. They're not like famous. They're just like little neighborhood people. Okay. We, you That's we're all little now. neighborhood people. Do you guys really just pull up little neighborhood people? Yeah, all the time. Fuck yeah. Did you hear about the prisoner in Alabama? We pulled up her whole whole goddamn life the other day. Really? Oh, oh yeah. An update on that. Yes. Oh. What do we got? Okay. What do we got, Bob? 
So there's new footage of her with dark hair. I fucking knew it, dude. So I knew she was going to dye that blonde hair. Show it. To, yeah, is that the side yeah. by side? Okay. Yeah. All right, so put that full screen. She looks. She still looks like a squishy face retard. No, I think she I looks think better, dude. I think squishy face uh, as well. I think, I think she looks better. No, it's not better at all. It is. No, at least she has some dignity on the left in the uniform. Blonde is much better. She's, got, she's tan, though, on the right. So they're in, I think they're in Florida. That's, I'm looking at that background. That looks like Florida. At least she's alive. Yeah, that's true. I'm not really concerned about her safety. So the guy that uh, she broke out, because she was a, a correction officer at the, mm -hmm. uh, the place, the guy that she broke out was a double murder or triple? Well, the, if you He was the a dog, single murder, but dog, he, attempted, he, dog. he attempted another murder, and he killed a dog, yeah. Okay. So he's, he's killed some people. He killed a dog? Yeah, he killed mm -hmm. a dog. Here's the weird she thing. He broke out a guy that killed a dog? She yeah, and they, they're in love, and they're living their best life right now. She well, we sold don't, her house. We don't, we don't know. We haven't seen the Lifetime movie yet. So. I think <laughs> killing a dog is unacceptable. Uh, well, I mean, it is what it is. You're a Michael Vick fan? You, it depends. Are you a big Amber Heard's dad fan? Yeah. What, did he kill a dog? Manny Pacquiao? He was, he was arrested for running a dog fighting ring, like, oh, in God. the 90s. I mean, I guess, I mean, it depends, right? The dog owes you money or something. Yeah, was, the do was it in Virginia? What? Uh, where Amber Heard's dad was? No, it yeah. was here. It was and here, the, yeah. In oh, it was Texas? In Texas yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's from here. She's so from you guys think Amber Heard is getting a little too much motherfucking attention? I mean, who really gives a shit? Oh, uh, this is her fucking moment. This is her moment, but... Because she's going to kill herself in like two years. She's yeah. not going to kill herself. She'll yeah, she lose is. her mind and she'll find a new boyfriend. Like, who gives a shit? She's going to shave her head like she 07 Britney? She took a shit Brittany? in a bed. Yeah. I'll take a shit in a bed. Like, have, you come on. have you shit in a bed? I, I've shit in all sorts of places. Like, no. this is crazy now. This is crazy. But Who cares? If you shit in a bed, that's very specific. Like, if you, have, if you have bad street meat and then you just go off on the side of the road and take a shit, like, that's a different story than shitting in your own bed. No. As a practical joke. Although, I mean, a dude doing that to another dude, it's fucked up, but it's still kind of funny. So, I, I'm not, that's not the biggest thing going on here. No. You know what I mean? No, no, not, no, by no. Long, not, not by a long yeah. shot. I think shitting in a bed does, doesn't warrant this type of attention. Well, it wasn't just that. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was, I know. It was also it was everything an op ed else, and a fucking Washington Post or whatever. Yeah, I just, it, the shitting in the Where bed, though, was kind of the, the. The cherry. Yeah, and it was nice. And also, no matter what happens, you don't knock somebody out for drug use. That's like a rule of mine. Yeah. Like, if everything else is going on, like I get in a fight with some dude, I'm not gonna say, he was over there doing cocaine and then fucking started fighting because I was over here doing cocaine. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Actually, that's none of anybody's fucking business. It is. And I wanna ask you about this. Um, Bob, if you, if you can go to Instagram and pull up uh, Shithead Steve, um, friend of the show, one of my favorite like meme accounts mm -hmm. there is, he posted a video in court yesterday where it appeared as if she uh, was hiding cocaine inside of a Kleenex and then does a fucking huge... There it is. Boom. In court? Yeah, pop this up on screen. Okay, so show that one more time, Bob. Let that play out. She's probably blowing her nose. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Watch this. We're, we're, we're going to get there. All right. Watch the motion of it, okay? There it is. I mean, she's a million percent not doing cocaine. <laughs> well, why, why go this, Bob? This, it's the index finger up there. That's the key. Like She probably had a really bad book and she's not going to like put her pinky up there. I don't know. That's the key sign for cocaine. And then that, that double nostril sniff at the end. That's well, it's, it's, certainly she's got some experience with cocaine. I don't know. If, yes. Well, that, that's not a secret. She does cocaine She knows how to navigate yeah. the nostril. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she's great at doing coke, but I just feel like she's probably not doing it here. So you don't find that an odd point? Put that up one more time. You don't find that the index finger going up on the side super odd in this situation? Well, how else there? would you block off that side of your nose? Ooh, yeah, I no, don't you're know, risking a lot man. for she a key bump. She literally just want, poor fucking bitch just wanted to pick, pick her nose. I don't think so. I think she was doing fucking key bumps she, to get through the she day. She knew she had a bat in the cave and she was in public. I mean, I feel like if you're willing to shit on somebody's bed, picking your nose in public is kind of a low bar. Okay? You, you ever been through a lawsuit like that? Like this? Yeah, we got to testify for hours and hours and hours. No, but I know that if I had to pick my nose, I would probably, you know. So I've been, I've been in several, okay? These depositions go for fucking ever. Well, mm -hmm. that's, uh, she's in court, so that's beyond a deposition. Deposition is just as long, but um, uh, with that, you need to pick me up at some point during that day because it starts early and you're just talking all goddamn day long. So I, I, I decide on the, the, the fact that Wouldn't I think she's doing cocaine. Be better yeah, cocaine's like a quick burn, too. It is. Like, you're not going to be high on cocaine for very long. Also, there's the added euphoria part that's going to make her seem goofy on the stand. She may have been snorting meth. Could be. Could be. Right? Or, I mean, why not just go to the bathroom and put an Adderall up your ass? 
thinking that too. What you know? about, yeah, an extended release? Like that's, I would just take an Adderall at the beginning of the day. Yeah, yeah. It's a long day though. I mean, you're there for 12 hours. Um, it's a lot. Because you were talking about security at Barclays. Going into court, that shit's super secure for Johnny Depp. Because mm-hmm. let's face it, the people aren't there for Amber Heard. They're there for Johnny Depp. Yeah, who so, wouldn't be? I know. Edward Scissorhands, I mean, wow, what an angel. Best in the biz, he right? should have. He should have done this whole thing in character. He should have. Yeah. Because this is all fucking pointless anyway. This is so boring without the characters. Is it? Yes. This is, I'm going to be honest. Besides the OJ trial, this is the funnest one I've watched. For sure. Can you name another one that's this fun? Casey Anthony? No, because it's not interesting to me. Well, Casey Anthony <laughs> was fun because there was so many twists and turns. Like when she just stopped mid-sentence and said, my dad molested me in the back, and you were like, whoa, dude. Yeah. Like, and he's there. He was in the courtroom that day. You were like, what the fuck? Like that was, a, that was fun for different dramatic yeah. reasons. The weirdest part this of that. Ex- funny. The weirdest part of that exchange is when her dad was like, uh, I love you mm-hmm. after, right? Yeah. And then he went on, uh, was it 48 hours or? Uh, I was kidding. He didn't do He didn't respond to her saying he molested her by saying I love you. No. She, so he went on the news. He went on 20, 20 or 48 hours afterwards and she said, you know, we went through some hard times growing up and, and everything else. So the, the overall, uh, I, I guess, general consensus for what they were trying to do was trying to get their daughter out of there. And then after mm-hmm. that, they were cutting her off forever of like, hey. Oh. And so the rumor was, because after they did the press after that, um, uh, and she got off, that they haven't talked again. Hmm. So they came there for the court, and they did all the things. And, I mean, uh, what do you talk about with your kid that killed your grandkid? Uh, yes. Like, hey, uh, how's the weather? Yep. <laughs> yep. How do you even start a conversation? Like, hey, what did you eat yesterday? What do you think Kaylee ate? Yeah, nothing. Exactly. She's nothing. She's fucking dead. She's fucking dead. Um, but they did an interview years later, and they were like, hey, looking back at the trial... Uh, what do you think you could and, and didn't have, you know, should have done or whatever. And, uh, and they were like, look, you know, it's our daughter and you don't really know until you're in that situation. And uh, uh, I think this is my opinion. I don't think they wanted to lose their granddaughter and their daughter mm-hmm. at the same time. Where it was just like, look, you can say all this fucking crazy shit and then we'll get you out of here. But I was kidding. Cut off after that. that. That, I mean, there were some weird parts. This trial has been pretty funny for meme stuff, but I haven't watched actually. Watched oh, you haven't watched it now. Johnny Depp has been on fire, like absolutely fucking hilarious. Like it, it's like the best set of comedy you, you'll ever see in your life. Um, have you seen any of it? I've seen little clips of it, but it's just I've seen little clips of it, but it's just been not. It has. It just hasn't held my attention. You know what I would rather see is uh, Galen Maxwell's trial. Mm. Yeah, we didn't that see any of that. Nice. She got right. con- she got convicted of uh, trafficking children. To question marks. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a, that's a weird result. And even Elon Musk put out a tweet the other day that just said, dude, how do we not have one fucking client from that list? Just one. How do we not have one single fucking person released from that list? It's, it's crazy to me. And wh- why hasn't that been leaked? Like, if you're going to leak a fucking Roe v. Wade decision, why wouldn't you leak all of the people that are, all the pedophiles that are on that fucking list from, from Glane? Because there's certainly people in that department who have it. That's a bold thing for Elon to tweet. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Let's be fair. Well, yeah. Anyone with money yes. has interacted with them. 100%. That is 100% true. Especially in Hollywood. When you're doing these fucking, you know, funding rounds uh, or you're financing movies or whatever it may be, Whoever is rich gets to be in that room. That's why there's photos with them and every single fucking person in the history of, of man who's now rich. Um, because you have to take these meetings. I mean, I'm sure he didn't know that they were fucking kids, obviously. But uh, that's kind of how it works. Where a lot of this shit you walk into, and Dan, Dan says this all the time, like with these old fucking rich politicians, you know probably half of them and touch kids. And you're just like, oh, shit. I don't understand how it's, I don't understand why that's such a, a common phenomena among these people. I just don't get it. You've got the best explanation for Please. it. Well, it's just patricians, right? People, the ruling class of any society, uh, power corrupts, right? Access to things corrupt. Look at Charlie Sheen. It wasn't even about power for him. He just had access to all the drugs and whores. He wanted with no real consequences, I guess, except for AIDS. Yeah. But uh, eventually ended up getting his dick sucked by dudes, which is probably not something that 25-year-old Charlie Sheen would have even considered possible. And it's, uh, I, I, it's not like a slippery slope thing. It's just like you get bored. 
maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Like when you have everything, you just yeah. keep wanting the next. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's like having one tattoo. You don't just stop at one, right? Yeah. Or a Lay's potato chip or a crack cocaine. Yeah. Like, what, what made you want to get a ton of tattoos? We're not sponsored by Lay's potato chips, by the way. Should be, by the way. You should be. Yeah. Like, what, what made you want to get multiple tattoos? I've always wanted tattoos. Okay. I just, uh, I just love, uh, I love the art, and I love expressing myself that way. Yeah. But once you start, you can't stop. It's very right? addicting. Yeah. For sure. I might get a monkey tattoo. <gasps> you We're should. at forehead. <laughs> Why a monkey? Uh, I love back monkeys. Tat. Really? Monkeys, yeah. yeah. I call I, my dog monkey. Uh, I want a monkey badly. Uh, and there's a here's I actually every day there's a new reason to own a monkey. There's a murder trial going on in India, and um, the trial is now postponed because a monkey broke in and stole a bunch of the evidence. Really? Where's the monkey now? Fucking on the land, dude. dude. Holy those, shit. Those Indian monkeys are fucked up, too. They get in, like, gang fights with packs of dogs. Oh, yeah. Nepalese, then, too. Like, yeah. in Nepal, they're fucking crazy out there. There, there was a story recently where, like, they were in a fight with a pack of dogs. Like, they just had a rivalry with this pack of fucking street dogs. And one day the monkeys were like, fuck this shit, we're harder than them, and like took several of the dog's puppies and just like ran them up to the roof of a yeah. building and threw them off the roof. And we're like, yeah, we run these streets. Yeah. You do run these streets. Jack Mandeville just walked by in the background if you're wondering who that creep was who just walked into the kitchen. <laughs> Jack has done that several times with dogs as Oh, well. yeah, dude. That <laughs> fucking serial killer dude just no, he's got, lurking he's, back his there. His dog is in the back room right now. Is it? Let's yeah. kill that fucking dog, dude. No. Let's do it live on air. What did I say about killing animals? Oh, you're against it. That's right. I'm not against it. Dogs, really not animals. Yeah. Dogs, right. yeah. I want a dog. But yeah, I want a monkey. I think they're funny. Yeah. I, it'd be great to have around the studio, I think. Yeah. Who, I mean, gets, he would, who gets to control it, though? No, that's the thing. The monkey co-op, which I've talked about on this show a lot, is if you get enough people to chip in, mm -hmm. you can just hire a permanent caretaker for the monkey, and then you have access to the monkey whenever you want. There's, um, so people do like a lot of research on monkeys and then there are these like places that they go when they're done doing the research, they bring all the monkeys and they're these like monkey sanctuaries. I don't some, I don't want a cracked out fucking monkey that's been, had drugs No, they just had some juice. Shit. Eh. The juice it, monkey. It's weird, dude. I, I saw one uh, at the Playboy <laughs> Mansion. Want, no. It was a monkey at the Playboy Mansion and they were passing around and it had a fucking diaper on. Oh yeah, they always, you, if well, you keep them in your house. What's the diaper for? For the shit? What do you mean, what's a diaper for? But they don't just shit outside or they'll, they'll shit well, in the house? They, they shit and they're used to shitting in their environment. And if the house becomes their environment, they think it's okay to shit there. Oh. Unless you put an electric collar on them and shock them when they do it. Would you do that? Yeah, fuck I yeah. do it to my dog, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You, know, you have to train them, I guess. But. Yeah, you gotta train them. You gotta train your monkey. Yeah. Put a collar on that fucker. Mm -hmm. I think know? of Pippi Longstocking and her monkey. A lot? A lot? Yeah, do you think of Pippi she a lot? She can't stop thinking about it. No. I can't. You're I really can't. You a big Pippi fan? I am a big Pippi fan. She was talking about it when she showed up today. I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? What did you think of the Pippi movie? Longstocking. I loved it. You're Wait, there's a Pippi fan? Longstocking movie? Oh, yeah. Uh, are you living under a fucking rock? No. When it comes to some stuff, yes. It was 30 years ago. I like, think. I haven't seen The Goonies until the other night. We tried to watch it for one of my other shows, and it is unwatchable. The it was one of the greatest no, movies of all that time. That movie fucking sucks. Boy, and listen? it wasn't just me that said it. Joel and Brittany both said the same, and they had seen it as children. We got about eight minutes in. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. My God, dude. And it wasn't me that put an end to it. No. Who was it? Uh, the both of them. <laughs> yeah. That movie sucks. So we watched Commando instead. Okay. Commando right. I still Hold get on. down on. Jack Mandeville's just said that he's actually a Pippi Longstocking expert. Oh, bring him in. Bring him in. G Let's talk. G uh, Giorgio, give Jack your microphone real quick. Uh, is he back there? Is he, he in the kitchen? Mics. Oh, there you go. Are Great. we talking about Pippi Longstrom? Fi they find the, the camera. The there you go. By Ingrid. Yeah. By, what? Astrid, by who? Ling Astrid Lindgren. Who played Pippi? I love her. Uh, so who played Pippi in the American version of it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the actress's name off the top of my head. I can tell you she po she's posed nude recently. <laughs> That's... Not as a child. In recent years, she's... Uh, now she's, you have my attention. You have my curiosity. Now you have my something she's for everyone. Late, she's in her, Wait. Uh, uh, as soon as you pull up her name, I'll, uh, American version Pippi. Can you explain to me so what we Pippi, got a nude Pippi Longstocking is? So oh. Pippi Longstocking is essentially the, scan the Swedish version of Huckleberry Finn. Her and Huck have a lot of the same values. Does she have a friend that's a slave? Uh, no, her friend is her horse. And what do they call her? <laughs> <laughs> Keep there going. She is, yeah. Tammy Aaron. Oh, that, don't, don't put that up. Well, Jesus don't. Christ. we can't put it up on YouTube, obviously, but let's see it for our own personal 
thing maybe pop that up on so you. they there made go uh, full screen with that they bob made, they made numerous uh that's not pippy that's pippy dude she's grown up she's got a different face <laughs> <laughs> oh shit wait hang on i'm looking at the pippy long stopping sex tape no, right here on x videos that's not the same face pippy dude wow all right wait i think i know i know who this is it, it, tammy sage is her porn name Check yeah, that on IMDb. There we go. Yeah, I think. Is that wait? That's not on YouTube, right? No. Okay, cool. Um, Jesus Christ, we're, we're looking at some graphic shit. All right, so there's Pippi. Go back and forth. Yeah, that's the yeah, same that's person. Her. That's the same person. She's grown up. Interesting. She's gotten attractive. She was always attractive. Not. I don't look at kids and say they're attractive, but this is a grown woman, and she's attractive. So there is numerous porns on her. She's got twelve thousand followers on X videos right now. Oh dear. That's a lot. Oh, does it say the new adventure of Pippi Longstock? That's, well, that's that is one, a new adventure for that's sure. That's on Amazon. I'm looking for I fucking... love her. I support any adventure she takes. Um, here, would you support this venture or no? Like, that's the, the wow. vent adventure I'm looking at right now. I mean, I want her to feel pleasure. <laughs> <sighs> Man, <laughs> Pippi's all grown up, dude. Um, Do you want to bring say, up so, Inger Nielsen and let's look at that? Oh, see. this just flipped to anal she's real quick. I will Pippi say, just flipped to anal. To anyone listening who is considering being Pippi for Halloween. Sure. You can use pipe cleaners in your hair um, to do that whole braid sticking out thing. Uh-huh. And, um, and lube at this point. And lube yeah, as well. Because you can use Astroglide. Whatever Pippi's using in this video... It, um, is definitely some Astro You guys have a loop sponsor? She's everywhere. <laughs> Actually, we've got a boner sponsor, uh, getroman.com slash drinking bros. There we go. Peppy would love that. Yeah. Um, Tamara Aaron is her real name. Tamara Aaron. Tammy. Tammy. We're really Tammy. getting deep now. I, her will, name I will say the cartoon version as well is quite um, something to die for. So she's just like a fucking Dennis the Menace, but a girl, basically. She lo she's got a monkey. She's got a horse. She's got but she causes a lot of problems. Is that the cause pro she just loves to hang around, smile, sing. She goes, hey, here, I'm Pippi. Doing a little digging right now. She's really into eugenics, so yeah, probably causes some problems. What's eugenics? Uh, like, It's like a diet, but for the human race. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's like, it's eugenics is like killing people that have deformities so they don't enter the the gene pool. Is she really the real into Pippi that? Longstocking? No, is like not that? the real Pippi. Jack, what's your verdict here? Uh, you're you've opened us up to a whole new world here. Is is Pippi and the eugenics killing retards? No. Look, but I, I want to make it very clear that uh, Pippi Longstocking is a uh, Swedish novel in its origins. The original films that came out were all Swedish. They were dubbed into English. The Pippi we're seeing posing nude here, she is. She did the one and only American version of Pippi, which came out in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh -huh. The original Pippi movies were in the 70s. Got it, got it, got it. So are, I don't know if you're referring to the Swedish actress or the American actress that played. No, uh, the one you brought up is pretty much what I was looking for today. Um, that's she how I was racist. looking to get down and party. Um, your knowledge of Pippi Longstocking is so impressive that, Giorgio, I think it's time to hit that applause button uh, all the way up. Yeah, let's get that at max level. I impressive is one word. Creepy as shit is another No, word not at all. I get it, dude. I'm all in. I'm with you, Jack. I stand I with Jack. I went to the Pippi Longstocking in Stockholm, Sweden. Are you uh, a big Nancy Drew fan, too? No, I went to the Pippi Longstocking uh, Museum in, in Stockholm. Uh, How is you it? Are you are absolutely kidding it? me. No, this is real. No, so his, his ex-girlfriend was from Sweden. Was your ex-girlfriend Pippi Longstocking? No. Inte Pippi. Yeah. See? He speaks full Swiss. I don't... That's I, not... No? It's like three no words. No Swiss? Swedish? Swedish. We're going Swedish? Yeah, yeah whatever it is, dude. Bra. <laughs> like, the, like the fish, not the chocolate. Whatever, dude. Let's I, love get the, I love the fish. Fucking loose, Jack. Um, so is Pippi a national treasure over there? She is the biggest fictional thing to ever come out of that country. Uh, yeah. She, okay. She was also involved in some celebrity boxing with another porn star in uh, February of 2020. Come on, pop that up. Are we allowed to show that? Mary Carey versus Tammy Aaron. And Mary celebrity. Carey was one of my favorites. Wait, isn't use. Mary Carey the lady from the Great British Baking Show? No, it's the she, this Mary Carey is the blonde with huge tits who ran for California governor. Oh, that's she right. She ran yeah. when I was out there. Yeah, that um, was uh, with Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I lived there, she was. Uh, she ran 2004. Yeah. 
Mary Carey. What does she look like now, I wonder? Bigger than watch her with probably. fight. <laughs> it's weird seeing porn stars grow up, isn't it? Like, Pippi turned out fine. Um, well, because Pippi wasn't a porn star. What do you mean? So we're just not, oh, so she's not grown up yet. Originally she wasn't. Yeah, she's now in the phase where she hasn't grown up yet. But if she's a porn star, now she's a porn star. Now but she's she a porn hasn't, star, yeah. But she's grown up from being I don't know if I would call her a star. She's got 12,000 followers. That's, That's true. That That's not a lot. It's not a lot of subscribers. She is a star. Uh, how many followers do you have? Um, I don't know. But ballpark it on Instagram. 90, More than 12,000? 90,000. 90,000, okay. Yeah. So you're you're more popular than, than your hero, Pippi Longstocking. Like, but it's not about the followers; it's about the heart. It's about your connection to monkeys, horses, and galore. Do you think she integrates? Pippi's so- getting ass fucked in like <laughs> ninety videos that we. Yeah. Just do you saw. think she's integrating the monkeys and horses into this? <laughs> Maybe this could be a Mr. Handstitch for yeah. Pippi. Is she doing like a, a themed porn or? Is what it- if that's how she died? She got Mr. Hands oh, to yeah. death. Could happen. We're all probably one gig away from just being Mr. Hands on Through the side Christ. of the road. Through Christ, wow. Anything is possible. Yep. Shouts out so. to Jesus, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, um, man, we learned a lot about Pippi today. Uh, Delco, I want to ask you, um, there was a, a new report that just dropped about Phil Mickelson. He lost $40 million in gambling? Probably. Is that real? Maybe. So he's got that book coming out with Shipnook, and they said he lost 40 fucking million dollars and he wasn't paying his caddy and that's why they broke up. Well, we know I have beef with Shipnuck. Yes. Wait, what kind of name is Shipnuck? That's stupid. So he's, That sounds like something from a bad children's book. 100%. He's one of the biggest cocksucker writers of all time. Exactly. And so when we brought it up cuz he's doing this unauthorized Phil Mickelson uh No, uh, it was authorized. Biography. No, yeah. I, I think it's unauthorized. No, no, Phil like participated for most of it. Mm, did he? Yeah, we'll bring it up. But even so, so he ran, he wrote, he wrote a hit piece about Delco. Do you know that? Really, Shipnuck, Yeah. Who? Why yeah. would anybody even pay that much attention to Delco to write a I hit don't piece know. about it? What was the piece about? Who, who do you think it was? Oh, that's right, your ex girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot oh, of people who are real awkward. That's today stupid. About young love, and old love. I don't know why. Love is love. Yeah. Did you guys want to finish that conversation? I know. What conversation? How long have you guys been dating? Um. <laughs> I don't know, a month. A month, okay. So it's, st- it's still new. Young fresh. love is still love. Mm. Fresh. God damn it. Young love is still love, you know? It's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh love. It's fresh love. His is old love. If you're, a, if you're like an His Orthodox Jew, how long do you fuck through the sheet before? Yeah, how long is that, that process? I couldn't tell you that. Well, ask your grandma. Yeah, can My we get her on the phone? My grandma has passed. Well, ask your oh, mother. She has? She has. What about your mom? Does she know? Your Does mom she fuck know. through a sheet? My mother um, doesn't fuck through a sheet. She is an atheist Jew. Well, that's most Israelites are. Is yeah. most, most people in Israel don't. Give most a people are very confused by the term. I'm like, a lot of Jews are atheists. Mm. No shit. In New York, a lot of Jews are atheists. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. You think? You think Ari fucked through a sheet or CFO? Yes. Yeah. I, I, if I right. had to guess. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. not understanding this whole thing. When we go to a bar, or we if we go out to a restaurant, he has to like figure out what's kosher on the menu. Like he takes it pretty seriously. Yeah. And he doesn't even know why. He's just always done it, so he's not going to stop. Now. He's like, oh, it's in my family for years. Yeah. I can't not do it. And it was just like, man, that's some fucking guilt that even Catholics don't have. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's it's crazy. Not to that level where you're just like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I mean, yeah, you should yeah. definitely know why you're doing something, and then at that point, it becomes a superstition if you don't even know why you're doing it. Do you have any superstitions before you go on stage? Um, she's got a Pippi Longstocking doll. Yeah, it sounds like you pipped up at one one point in your life. I did, you know, I was, I, I did love Pippi as a as a kid, but I don't have any superstitions before I go on stage. I don't usually like to drink alcohol before I go on stage I, because <laughs> then I, I just don't do as well if I'm drunk. Okay. But I Makes li- sense. I like to wear comfy clothes. Comfy clothes? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Just like some a, baggy shit. Like a slanket? I just like to feel comfy because uh, then I do my best. All right. Yeah. How long, what, how long are your sets these days? I've been doing like 45. Okay. Yeah. And what, just, what, what's the hopes and dreams? An hour on Netflix or something like that? Absolutely. Okay. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. We, uh, we just saw, you and I saw Christina P. And uh, that Netflix special drops shit, I think. Three days, three days, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it does. She was great. I was, I, I, I'd never seen her before, um, stand up wise. I think her podcast is great, obviously, but um, mm. uh, stand up wise, I thought she was. It's okay. I so it was it's great. a lot of inside jokes. That that's one of my, that's one of the things I take issue with with stand up comedians that have 
Uh, uh, podcast following? Podcast followings is that like half the fucking show is inside jokes from really? the show. Like what no. kind of inside jokes? Uh, that are well, told I, I on the podcast. I wouldn't know because I don't uh, watch. Someone else just said that. Who, who was in the other day that said uh, they were doing bits from their podcast? I don't know, but that's just so Raven. That is so Raven, isn't it? But like Bill Burr has got one of the, he, like uh, as far as comedy goes, very successful podcast. Joe Rogan, obviously the most of all time. Yeah. And he doesn't do that in his He doesn't shows. do that in his, no. Uh, I can't imagine. Yeah, well, no, you want to include everyone. It feels like, yeah. it feels like. It's a little awkward, but I mean, there's, it, it gets thunderous applause because so many people watch that show and so many people come out to support them anytime they do live shit anywhere in the country. Yeah. So well, can go maybe you can't ways. avoid it, I guess. It can make people listen to your podcast mm. or it can make people feel excluded, like the people that don't. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week, which is someone who has inspired you, helps you become the person you are today. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Someone who's inspired me or helped me become the person I am today. Yeah. yeah. Pippi, bro. What you... Pippi. Is it Pippi? <sighs> Damn, should it be someone I know or someone I don't know? If you said Pippi current, that would be fucking awesome. Oh, shit. Well, I don't think she knew about that until just now, so. Yeah, was that the first time you were finding out about that? It is the first time. I, I don't think it would be fair to say current Pippi. <sighs> I would. After watching that video, I'm think all I, in on current Pippi. You current Pippi? Yeah. Um, you, can see, you can say whoever you want. Living or dead, real or fictional, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Wow. Nobody's helped you, huh? Did you do it all yourself? You can thank yourself. Yeah, go McConaughey. Yeah, Five go McConaughey. Man, yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm my own yeah, hero. I'm going to I'm thank my, my fucking self. No one has helped me. Fuck everyone. Really? Yep. So you did all this yourself? Yeah. Mom didn't give a shit about stand-up? No, I would say my mother and my dog. Okay. What's your so, dog's name? Rory. What kind of dog is it? Perfect. Oh, boy. That's not the answer today. If you said he was a golfer, great. Um, what, 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 uh, what brand is it? What's that dog? I'm sorry? What is it? He's a 26-pound black dog that what? is a not, he is, I don't know what kind what's of dog What's the make and model of your dog? Make yeah, what's the model? make and model of your dog? Yeah. He's a, just a mutt. He's a mm. mutt. He's a black dog with one floppy ear. If you had to pick one of the genders, or what, what, do you, what the fuck do you call a dog? He looks like a, a Breed. min pen, Breed. but there he's bigger go. than a min pen. A min pen. He looks like a miniature pincher, but he's bigger. Pull, yeah. pull that up on screen. Like a tiny what's Doberman? A mini, what's a mini pincher? A Doberman, but small. You know what I don't like about you guys? What's up? You guys are like, you know what? You should say yourself. And then I said myself, and you're like, really? You're going to say yourself? Yeah, no, we no, totally I'm... set you up. What the fuck are you yeah, talking about? Are you kidding me? I'll do it again, too. What the hell? So does your dog look like this? Put this on screen. Do we look like people Yeah, my dog trust? does look like that, but he has one ear that sticks up. He's so cute. Yeah, that's a good looking dog. Is that your dog? Did, we just not put, did Bob find your dog? It's not my dog. Okay. But it looks I like that. I would say, excuse me, sir. I would say... <laughs> The drinking bro of the week is my mother. Okay, there you go. What's her name? Heather. Heather. Yeah. Hey, Heather. Hey, Hev. Heather Cuomo. That's not, yes, we'll go with that. It's not. She's it's, married, right? Or did she get divorced? Um, she never changed her last name. She kept it? She never, ever changed her last name. So is it Cuomo? Did you take her last name or did you take your dad's last name? I, uh, my dad's last name is Cuomo. Okay. And when she just never changed it, huh? Uh, she, yeah, she just, she's a feminist. You don't have one picture no, of your you fucking you dog on here? Where is it? It's crazy, Where? dude. Down. Let's see the dog. Yeah. Uh, are you on her Instagram? Down. Yeah, I'm looking for the oh, dog. There we go. Yeah. You don't love the dog that much. There's like 90 photos of you and there's no dog. Yeah, there. again, you should, you're just thanking yourself on your own Instagram page now. Yeah. Instead of fucking showing the dog. There we go. There we go. Let's see that thing. Oh. I think that's part shepherd. That's what it looks like, right? I see a little German Shepherd. Yeah, in there. that was my first guess. God, he's perfect. Um, Look at him; he's wearing his little outfit. Is, that, is that Halloween? Yeah, I decorated. No, she just takes him out to <laughs> dig up graves. You never know. <laughs> the you dog, never the dog know. part. There's too much going on in the dog part. I will say, he's the most perfect little man. Honestly, if you trained your dog to be a grave robber, it'd be pretty good business. Very yeah. lucrative these How, days. How's that work in India? So this dude, somebody in, the, in his family clearly paid that monkey. To steal that evidence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? There, like, seriously, in India and some surrounding countries, there are monkeys who work for criminal, yeah. like, low-level criminals. They'll yeah. come steal your wallet and phone and all this other Pick bullshit. Pickpockets and it's all an that Indiana shit. Indiana yeah. Jones. So yeah. who gets the lost art? Sure. Mm -hmm. Who gets who gets charged with a crime? You can't charge a fucking monkey with a crime. No. The person who trained the monkey. Sure, you can. Yeah, but like, prove it. Prove the monkey. How? Yep. What are you gonna fucking interrogate the monkey? Prove it. No, execute <laughs> Shake that him. monkey. Sit him Who down. Who trained you? Sit him down. Where are the weapons the of mass destruction? Where are they, monkey? Slap that monkey. Waterboard oh. a fucking monkey. Oh, that's fucked up. Is it? Well, well he's not a dog. So he I shouldn't have stole fine. stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? How old is your dog? My dog. He is about to be three. 
Oh, three mm. years old. All right, so you got some life left in there. Thank God. Yeah, otherwise, I, that'd probably I, be the end of you. It, w- it will be the end of You know what happened to me was crazy? My, my ex-boyfriend's aunt was watching my dog, okay. and he ran away. No shit. How'd you get him back? I cried hysterically like a crazy person throughout the streets for four hours, and my mother, otherwise known as the drinking bro of the week, Heather, yeah. drove, helped me find him, and uh, she actually is the one that found him. Is that what caused the breakup? No, it didn't. It should have, though. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would have been out of there. I was, losing, I was losing my fucking mind. I bet. You should have seen me. I was going up to people on the street, and I was like, where's my fucking dog? This is some white women shit right yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, re- like to the max. Yep. Um, tell everybody where they can find you on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Natalie Cuomo underscore, at Natalie Cuomo on everything else, YouTube.com slash Natalie Cuomo, and Twitch.tv slash Natalie Cuomo. There you go. You play video games too, huh? I do. Right on. Yep. Right on. we got a big uh, gaming audience out there. Uh, thanks for being here. Go to iTunes, rate the show five-star, and leave a quick review. All videos are also now live on Spotify uh, if you don't like using YouTube. Uh, for Danthony, Danthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Podcast. Good night, everyone.